I'm just too fast, boys. Just too fast. If you guys want safe, cheap, and reliable FIFA 19 coins with 24-7 support and also 100% safe comfort trades, make sure you head over to MuleFactory.com and also use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout to get yourself a cheeky 5% off any order you make on the site. Also, just before we get into the video, if you guys want to go ahead and get yourself some G Fuel, make sure you head over to the G Fuel website, a link in the description to that, and go ahead and use the code NERD at the checkout for 10% off your order. Just before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to let me know in the comments the next challenge you would like to see for next week. I literally say this all the time, but I thought I'd throw it in right at the start so you guys know from the start to let me know of your ideas. If you already see an idea you like in the comments, make sure you hit the like button on it. The top three liked comments will go into a straw pot that will then be put out within next week for you guys to go ahead and then vote to see what challenge we'll be using for the following week. So yeah, make sure you go ahead, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. We use the straw poll for this week and this is it on your screen now. As you can see, the fastest team won. So yeah, that's the method we're going to go with now. But that's enough of that. Let's now get into the video. Okay, boys. So today... We are back with our weekly Foot Champions Challenge videos using a particular team. I mean, obviously, I was about to say you guys are going to have to wait to see the team, but then I realised it's actually in the title. Yeah, that was a... Uh pretty stupid of me. But yes, today we are going to be using the quickest team in foot champions. So basically everyone's going to be over 90 pace and it should be interesting. Yeah, it should be fun. So yeah, we're back again with another challenge. So if you guys didn't see it the other day on Friday, I actually dropped another challenge letting Snapchat choose my foot champions team. So make sure you go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. And also linked in the top line of the description will be a playlist that links to all of the challenges. All of the challenges are in there that I've done so far on FIFA. So if you guys have missed any or you want to see all the ones that I have done, make sure you go ahead and check out the playlist, which is actually also on the homepage of my channel. So yes, today we are building the quickest team in Foot Champions. And before we get into that though, I want to say a big shout out to the boy Brooksy. Once again, will be linked in the description, one of the top lines of the description. He actually also did this challenge as well. So make sure you go check out his team and his variation of it as well. He does very similar challenge videos to what I do. So make sure you go ahead, check him out, subscribe, check out his challenges and yeah. Let him know I sent you. But anyways, back onto this video. Quickest team. So, just before we actually get into this, because I always get ones every single video. No, Team of the Year and Bappe is not going to be in this video. I'm not a multi-millionaire on FIFA. I'm not going to lie, all right? If I was, yeah, I would do that. But yeah, I don't have that many coins. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get this team done. So yeah, we'll head over to FIFA now, create the squad, get into making a team. So let's do this. All right, so if we go ahead and create our new squad, start from scratch. So we're going to go, let's go like pace... FC. I, I don't know. That's so basic, but actually, let's go pace in ya face. Yeah, pace in your face. I don't even know what that is. That's just random, is it? Uh, probably, actually, yeah. I probably should just start with pace FC, but pace in your face. There we go. All right, so now we've got to go ahead and figure out the fastest players. Obviously, like I said, some players I can't afford, like the team here in Bappe, 90 with a Bamiang, etc. But, but basically, the aim is to have players that are all above 90 pace, at least in the starting 11. That's the aim. All right, so formation-wise, we definitely have to use wingers in this team. That has to be a thing because literally wingers scream pace. So formation, hmm, I'm thinking the 4-1-2-1-2. Obviously not bracket two, but the 4-1-2-1-2 like this. So we have the two wingers, we have two strikers, Cam, CDM, back four, and a goalkeeper. All right, I think this should be a good formation. So in terms of goalkeeper, fairly hard position to actually choose in terms of speed. But I actually have Edison, who I think is pretty quick in terms of coming out of his goal, etc. He's a sweeper keeper, so I think we're going to put this UCL Edison in goal. Perfecto. All right, so now it's time to find some pacey players. See, I've actually looked before, and I've got some players on the left of my screen on here. So yeah, we've got a lot of pace that can be in this team. Right, in terms of right back then... So so I look for a really fast right back and a guy we're going to go with for this video is Fredericks. If I can spell him right. There is Ryan Fredericks. As you can see, 94 pace right back. Lovely jubbly. So he is going to go straight into the team. Okay, on to the right centre back. If you guys didn't see the other day, EA updated the scream items. So there's only one guy we can go for. At least it has to be in here. In Ethan Ampadu. Scream. Look at this. 99 pace. Center back, six foot. Oh yes, this is going to be fun to use, hopefully. Basically, players shouldn't be outpacing him. That's the truth. Okay, so he's going to be our right center back. On to the left center back. We're going to go with the guy who I've never really heard of. I'm not going to lie, but Skjelvik. I think, it, is it this guy? Yeah, Skjelvik. Here we go. He's default 91 pace on this game. 91 pace center back, 90 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Pretty rapid, if you ask me. All right, on to the left back. We have got another screen card that's going to be going here. One of the new updates ones obviously again 
again. And that is Tyrone Mings. As you can see, 99 pace. Left back, uh, 88 acceleration, 99 pace. Lovely jubbly. That is going to be interesting to use. He actually could be pretty sick. I might even have to use him on my actual team. All right, into CDM. I think we could go Fellaini, but, you know, we've used Fellaini before. Obviously, we've used Ampadu before, actually, as well in teams. But still, I'm thinking of someone else, and that is the man himself, Javier Mascherano. So, yeah, he's a 99 pace CDM, 99 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. He is going to be the CDM of choice in this team, at least in the starting 11. You know, he might be rubbish and we might have to take him off. All right, so onto the left mid. We are going to go with, I had a choice of either Douglas Costa or Leroy Sane. And just so we get a little bit more chemistry, I think we're going to go with Leroy Sane, 86 rating. He is um, 95 pace. Very, very nice. So he is going to be our left mid for this team. Moving on to the right mid, we have to use pretty much one of the fastest default players in this game. If you don't know who that is, that is indeed Adama. As you can see, Adama Traore, 96 pace on his default card, 97 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. He has to be in the team. He literally has been pace FC from the start of this game. Okay, so moving into the cam. Right, we are going to go with Bruma. Bruma, where are you at? Bruma, here we go. So 92 rated Bruma. Perfect, though. He can definitely go in this team as our cam. All right, so now on to the strikers. Here we go. On the left striker, we are going to go with Marcus Rashford. 86 rated in form. I don't actually have that in my club. Where is he at? 86 in form. Oh, not that one, that one. Perfect. So he's going to be our left striker. Then onto the right striker. Once again, another scream card. And that is indeed 78 rating, 99 pace, Troy Deeney. 99 pace striker, six foot. And look at them dribbling stats as well. Oh my days. This could be fun. So this is the starting level we're going to have on your screen now. We have got Usel Edison in goal. Right back is Fredericks. Right centre back is Ampadu. Left centre back is Skjelovic. Left back is Tyrone Mings. Scream, CDM is Scream Mascherano, left mid is Sane, right mid is Traore, Cam is Bruma, left striker is Inform Rashford, and right striker is Scream Troy Dini. So yeah, they're all above 90 pace. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the bench with 90 plus players as well in pace. So let me do that now. And I'll be back with you guys after. Okay, so I have gone ahead and put a load of pace on the bench. So you're going to see it on your screen. Now, we have got Future Star Sancho. We have got Flashback Rooney, Inform Sterling, Wants to Watch Anderson, Foot Birthday Javinio, Flashback Louise, and Inform Dembele. All over 90 pace. Uh, one player that I definitely want to get on in this team is Javinho. Have not used him yet. But yes, all above 90 pace. The whole team is above 90. That is brilliant. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and buy the team. Then we're going to get into the game. So I'll see you guys when I've done that. Okay, boys. So as you can see, now I've gone ahead and bought the team. All the team is ready now to be used. So it is time to head over to Foot Champions. Get into a game. See what we can do with the quickest team in Foot Champions. So let's do it. All right, I'm excited. This is going to be interesting. Also, by the way, this is literally the first time I have used Leroy Sane in this game. So, you know, there's always a first for something. Come on, boys, though. We got this. All right, boys. So we have got ourselves an opponent. Let's see what team he's going to have. Please don't be too good. Come on, EA. All right, here is team on the screen now. Okay, so he's got Jesus Promise. Mares, Richarlison, Vinaldo. He's got that 92 Van Dijk as well. I hate playing that card. Go away. But yeah, he's got a very nice team. So we'll see what we can do. Let's get into the game and let's hope we can win. All right, boys. Come on. Come on. Can the quickest team win? All right, here we go, boys. Kick off time. Obviously, one thing we're lacking is definitely um, chemistry. So that could play a part. But, you know, we'll, we'll try our best. Into Bruma. Bruma drags it back. Into What? That was past the Sane. Why has it gone to the right? Oh, no. Ampadu, you've got this. They're going to pace of Ampadu. What a beast. That's what we like. Traore sees Dini out here. Night down pace Dini. Can Dini hit this in? Good block. Good block. I, I give him that. That was a good block from Sanchez. Drag back stop. Nice. Flick it back. And in the box. That's a cross. Oh, that's a good cross, but... Van Dijk was there, but, but, oh, I didn't even know what to say. I couldn't even say it, but there we go. The one nil up, boys. The quickest team. Pace in your face. <laughs> one nil up. Bruma, that was a beautiful finish. Just takes it here. Van Dyke from the clearance. Bruma with his left foot into that right-hand side of the goal. Pace in your face. One. Opponent nil. Come on. All right, boys. We are one nil up. Let's go. See, really, no one should be able to get in behind Ampadu. And if, even if they have got a little bit, you know, the pace of him, he should be keeping up. Rashford advances on. Sees Dini through the middle. Troy Dini. 99 pace, Troy Dini, Troy Dini, Dini, let's go boys, 2-0 up, 
with pace in your face. I'm just going to say that every time I score now. But we are 2 to 1. 99 pace. Troy Deeney with the finish. Come on. Lovely ball through by Marcus Rashford there. Got to say, lovely assist through to Deeney and beautiful finish. 2 to 1. Come on. Place this down, Mascherano. Oh, mate. I, I think he's done more drag backs than. Oh, he's. He greened it. And Edison with the save. Oh. Mascherano. Go on. Deeney. Nice. Rashford. Fix it. Oh, Mascherano. Mascherano with a finesse. No, he's put it wide. What do you mean? Right in front of goal. Go for the finesse. And he puts it past the post. Here we go. The counter attack. The speed on the counter attack. Troy Deeney pulls it back. Knocks it through to Bruma. Bruma with the pace. Bruma with the pace. Drag back. Oh, we've dragged back to him now. He plays it to no one. And we've lost the ball. Uh-oh. He's dragged it back. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, there we go. The drag back. Here it is. He's back with it. He's done blooming Bruma now. That's a, that's a, that's a good goal. That's that. Yeah, that's a good goal. All right, 2-1. Fair enough. Dini. Drag back. Play that in. Rashford. Finesse shot. Yes. Okay. That was a little bit of a jammy finish. Not going to deny that, but 3-1. All right, Marcus. Cal calm down. Calm down. Pace. In your face with another goal. Back at it again. Deeney with the drag back to Rashford. I mean, the finish, still, still don't really get it what happened. They just sort of rolled it in and the keeper was like, jump in and yeah, we scored. 3-1, I'll take it. There we go. We go into half time. 3-1 up. I'll take that. Pace in your face is doing all right. So we're going to make a couple of changes. Like I said, I wanted to definitely bring on Javinho. So let's go sort them out now. Let's see what we're going to do. All right, into the team management. So Javinho, where is he going to come on? Do I bring him on for... Bruma, even though Bruma's done very well, I feel like Javinho's got to come on. Uh, I do sort of want Jaden Sancho on as well, one of my favourite players on this game. But then we're going to leave the final sub for whatever we feel like we need to change if we need to in the second half. So there we go, Javinho and Sancho on. Let's get into the second half. Come on then. Sancho with a lack of credit. Oh my god, Sancho. Sees Javinho through this middle. Javinho! Javinho! Oh, good save from David De Gea. Good save. Dini, nice. Into Marcus. Pulls it out to Jaden Sancho. Oh, that's a save and a half over the head. Oh, stop that, Sane. It's a Rashford. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Okay. Okay. Woo. What a finish. Yo, that flick over from the head with Sane, then crosses it into Rashford. I think we're going to get a rage quit here. Are we? Or is he going to still play on? I don't know. But that was a beautiful goal. Four one up now to pace in your face. Let's go. Come on. All right, I'm happy. I'm excited. Oh, there we go. He's rage quit. He has rage quit. Okay. I mean, we were playing quite well. I'm not going to lie. But there we go. We managed to win with pace in your face. The quickest team in foot champions. And as you can see, confirmation there of the score 4-1 to us. Now, if we take a look at the actual overall stats, as you can see now, we had eight shots to his eight, seven shots on target to his six. We had less possession. So, you know, overall, it was fairly even, but we definitely took our chances. I mean, good saves from Edison, definitely. But then just the pace of our attack was too much for the guy. That's what it seemed like. It just seemed too much for him. And we netted when we needed to and got ourselves the four goals to get the win. But yeah, overall, you know, that was probably one of the funnest teams I've used. I just enjoyed using the pure pace of the team. Like some of my favorite players in that had to be Ampadu, who was very, very good in that team. Dini was actually very, very fun to use. Also, Bruma played very, very well when he was on. So yeah, overall was pretty fun using that team. But yeah, boys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Please like, comment and subscribe if you did. Like I said earlier in the video, make sure you go ahead and let me know in the comments the next challenge you would like to see for next week. We're going to do a straw poll method like we did for this week as well. So make sure you go ahead and let me know what one you want to see for next week's video. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Also, thank you for 45,000 subscribers, which we hit the other day. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.